a lot of beautiful petroglyphs there on boulders on the ground. And that's what's hard too, because they cannot see that. I would probably say 95, 98% of these people do not know that they're shooting uh, this rock art. So it only takes one of those rounds really to ruin an entire oh, yeah. rock face of, of rock art. So this is a good example of rock art that doesn't get much damage only because it's lying flat up uh, and the bullets are really hard. Uh, to impact it, but as you can see, any elevation of the rock has been impacted by bullets. Sometimes we can't get people out here to actually come look at the rock art, so we can use 21st century technology such as photogrammetry, uh, which is a 3D software that you take pictures of a certain object and it stitches those photos together and it creates a 3D image. And then from there, you can uh, print those images out on a 3D printer. Just proves, you know, using technology as a teaching aid. Exactly. So I find when, when we can educate people of the significance of these areas, you know, it, it would possibly help change people's behavior. Definitely. And then we can all see the past into the future. Exactly. I mean, that's the whole point of public archaeology uh, and getting as many partners as we possibly can uh, to talk about this issue.